Cyclone Freddy is rapidly intensifying off the west coast of Australia this morning, currently located at 14.2 degrees south, 117.3 degrees east, and we've given it a wind speed right now of 80 miles per hour, that's 1 minute sustained winds, and that wind speed, honestly, given the satellite imagery, could be a little bit higher, maybe even approaching 90 miles per hour right now. This storm is intensifying at a rapid rate. The pressure is around 980 millibars, and the storm is moving west-southwest at around 10 miles per hour, and it's currently a Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale. That's a Category 2, maybe even approaching Category 3 on the Australian scale. So this is where the storm is right now, with a mainly eastern side wind field, really equal on all sides, to be honest. Uh, 85 nautical miles at maximum extent on the southeastern side right now. The storm is located 400 miles away from Bali, 405 from Broome in Western Australia, 470 from Karatha, 860 from Christmas Island, and 1420 from the Cocos Keeling Islands. The storm is forecast to push off towards the west and continue to identify at a significant to rapid rate and peak as a Category 3, maybe even getting up towards Category 4 on the South Simpson scale. We'll have to wait and see on how strong the storm gets, but the good thing is this storm is a minimal to no threat to land over the next five days and probably will remain out to sea throughout its whole life, remaining far off the coast of Australia. So this is what the entity estimates are saying right now. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology is hopelessly behind right now. 10 minutes to same winds on that estimate, uh, which is around probably 60 to 70 miles per hour. They are hopelessly behind. But satellite estimates are good in agreement that this storm is a Category 1 right now. This is what the latest HTWC's forecast is calling for, a peak of 120 miles per hour. But honestly, I think that peak's going to occur earlier than what they're forecasting. Um, and I think that might occur just a little bit stronger, maybe 125 miles per hour is probably what I, I would forecast right now. Uh, but you'll notice that the storm is forecast to push westward, and then it becomes a big question. Does it curve off towards the south on weekend, or does it continue off towards the west? And maybe it stays around for another few days. We'll have to wait and see on that. There's a lot of possibilities with the storm beyond five days. These are temperatures right now are favorable for the storm to continue to rapidly intensify. They are not going to decrease at all, but you can see uh, after that day five point, you know, does the storm take that southward turn? The zero temperatures do drop off a cliff, or do they, whether does the storm continue off towards the west and the temperatures remain quite favorable? This is what the HWRF model is seeing right now, predicting a peak of 145 miles per hour. That's quite high. Uh, rainfall not going to be an issue to any land areas over the next five days. And this is what the RAM magnetic plot is looking like. Uh, General favorability right now of a Category 3 peak, pretty much across all the models here. Um, of course, the HVR is forecasting a Cat 4. We'll have to wait and see on that. Wind shear is forecast to be okay. Um, it's forecast to be pretty low, actually, right now. So this one is taking a good advantage of that right now. Sea temperature temperatures are high, and relative humidity is favorable, albeit not the greatest that we've seen, but it's favorable for its identification to continue for this storm right now. So having a look at the satellite imagery of the storm, uh, it's looking pretty good, only just becoming a tropical storm around 24 hours ago. And you can see there is an eye trying to develop on infrared imagery here, has not gotten itself um, visible just yet, but that will happen in due time. Of course the storm just has to organize and build its core, uh, but good outflow on the western and eastern sides of the storm as you can see here on this visible imagery. Uh, but overall, the environment around this storm remains quite favorable for this identification phase, or this rapid identification phase, I should say, to continue. And to be honest, I really don't see any sign that this will stop in the next 24 hours. And as such, it's likely that Freddy will become the first major cyclone, Kyrie 3 on the Tapit Center scale or higher, in the Australian region of this season. Of course, we've already had one across the Southern Hemisphere as a whole, that was Darien in December. We'll have further updates on Freddy as it pushes off to the west over the next few days off the coast of Australia. Stay safe.